UA were able to conceive a product with Moog, what would it be? The answer is revealed in the new Moog Multimode filter, which delivers the first truly analog sounding voltage controlled filter emulation made for mixing, performing, creating, or destroying. Starting with the input section, the drive control has 20 dB of range and will add a subtle change in distortion. But then, the user can use the 20 dB switch to bring the distortion levels up to those of the external input of the classic Mini Moog. Next I'll go to the filter section, where I will adjust the resonance and cutoff. I'll bring up the resonance until the unit just starts to get into self-oscillation. Then I'll adjust the cutoff. Traditionally, only the low-pass filter of the classic Moogs, such as the 904 series, has the ability to self-oscillate. With UA's enhanced circuit design, all three modes, low-pass, band-pass, and high-pass, can self-oscillate. The 2-4 pole switch lets the user choose between the classic 4-pole filtering and the gentler 2-pole option. I'll stay with the low-pass mode. Next we'll go to the envelope follower. The simple envelope controls mimic those of Moog's MF-101. Traditionally, Moog only includes positive values for envelope, but UA's plugin includes positive and negative values. The smooth fast switch adjusts the speed of the attack and release of the envelope. Next let's move on to spacing. Spacing separates two hard pan filters by up to three octaves. This feature is borrowed from Bob Moog's final Voyager instrument. Similar to envelope, spacing incorporates positive and negative values, allowing the user to radically shift the stereo image of the source material, or incorporate subtle beating between filters. By the way, all controls with positive and negative values can be reset by clicking on the title of the control. Moving on to the LFO section, this section allows the user to modulate the amount and rate of the oscillator. You can further modify the signal with six standard wavetable options. Sine, Triangle, Upward Sawtooth, Downward Sawtooth, Square, and Random. Also, you can easily reset the LFO by clicking on the LFO LED. This hidden control can be automated to retain the exact result with every playback. In addition, UA has incorporated Tempo Sync, allowing the user to lock the LFO to the tempo of the song, or some rhythmic derivative of that tempo. Offset manipulates the phase relationship between the hard pan filter by up to 180 degrees. This can be adjusted between subtle phase shift to audible delay effects. With positive and negative values, the offset control can shift the stereo image of the effect. In the output section, the mix control allows you to blend between the straight driven signal with the filter and LFO affected signal. You can also sum the signal to mono and control the overall output. The step track switch allows the user the creative ability to bypass the cutoff control smoothing features, useful when the cutoff filter is being heavily modified with automation. Lastly, the on-off switch allows complete bypass of the entire plugin. Also included is the Moog SE multimode filter, which features high instance counts, but leaves out the drive controls for a cleaner sound. Now I'm going to use the multimode filter on an electric guitar to get some familiar and not so familiar effects.
Mm-hmm.